So today it's aluminum welding. Do you have to use helium? Why do you have to use it? Don't you have to use it? Is there other alternatives? Stay tuned, you'll be surprised. So we're going to make three different welds on three different pieces, all the same length, the same temperature from the same cut from the same piece of stock. First, we're gonna go into 2T pedal. Then we're gonna go to AC. We go to standard welding. We're gonna pick a square wave on both sides. High frequency start. This is basically how most regular standard welding machine would be set up. We will be running about two inches of bead without any filler. And we try to do this at the same speed every time. And we're gonna do this with three different settings. This is our first setting. So this is your standard AC like you're used to it. Regular frost line, melts, works, everything's good. The second time we do this, we will do AC standard and we're using the triangular wave on both sides and we will see if we get less heat input. In every case, we will be maxing out the pedal here. So on the triangle wave shot here, on the, arc, on the triangle weld, as you can see in the arc shot, it takes me five or 10 seconds to finally get this puddle going. And then as I am moving forward at about the same speed, it's a real narrow bead that just barely melts into the surface of this material. Our third scenario is going to be mix AC standard and we're going to use the square wave because it has the most heat input, high frequency and then we're going to use we're going to use a 35% um, DC amount in in the AC wave and see how that affects the heat and the penetration on that same material. So here's our AC mix. The puddle forms instantaneously. It's a lot less frosting around it, cleaning action. And you can see this thing gets hot, out of control, large. At the same speed, I'm almost blowing a hole in it. The puddle really sinks and a crack develops down the center. Uh, again, all the same parameters, 110 amps, 110 amps, 110 amps, 40 hertz, 40 hertz, 40 hertz, 75% penetration. Here you have with 35% DC mixed into it. The puddle formed instantaneously. Um, the frosting, the heat of the, the uh, cleaning zone around it is super small. And as the material was heating up, because it was not preheated after about the first three quarter inch here, it got so hot that the material sinks below the surface. If you look at it from the side, which we're gonna do in a second, you'll see how it sunk below the surface. Here you can see how much that puddle actually was sinking in. That's a solid 30 seconds that it's sinking in. And it got so hot that there is actually a defect, a, a crack, a heat crack, a stress crack in the material here from the excessive heat that was used. I would have had to back up the pedal. I intentionally did not for this test to see what this would do. So now as we look at this, this is our penetration on the, on the regular bead. And yes, it created a crack on the back right here too. It was still like just a smidge too hot. This was so way cold that it didn't even do anything here. And this guy here just totally annihilated everything. I mean, the crack goes all the way to the backside. And when you compare this even to the regular AC weld, you can tell this is just so much bigger and so much more power. So instead of using helium, you can use the AC mix feature 
to weld thicker material with 100% argon and get about 300 amps worth with the felt power out of your 250 amp machine. Now with this new generation machine, you have multiple different wave shapes. You have a square wave, you have an advanced square wave that is almost like a sine wave and the triangular wave to reduce your heat input. And I'm going to show you how to select all these waveforms and what you can do is you can mix and match your wave shape on the positive side, the cleaning side, and on the negative side, the penetration side, to fully customize your AC TIG welding experience and get the best results out of your machine. Let's get into this and see what we need to do. And of course you have AC mix, which mixes some DC into your AC arc. You can adjust how much you want there. On 100% argon, a good number to start is about 30%. No more than 40, you got to get issues with not enough cleaning. If you run helium mixtures or pure helium, you can go all the way up to 90% on the DC part of that AC. And the AC still gives you enough cleaning, the DC gives you the penetration. So this is your substitute, your cheap, simple, built-in substitute, instead of running... 300 400 600 dollars a tank helium gas you run ac mix with 100 percent argon so i hope that tip helped you have fun welding